that's probably the most important thing for having aptitude in science is I would say if I picked one thing is that you can just chat with somebody and you have like 10 ideas already of mm. stuff you can research, right? Because that's about how my brain works, right? So I'm sitting here and everything you tell me, I'm analyzing like, does somebody know this already? I could check on Google. If not, you know, put that into the bin of possible research <laughs> uh, projects. And so this way I generate like dozens of research projects a day, sometimes hundreds, right? Wow. And of course I do only like a tiny fraction of them because in, in, again, in the end, you've got to get grant money, students need to yeah. work on it, you know, there's like time involved and so you can't do everything. Uh, and so I end up doing like 0.01% of the stuff that I thought I might do, I could do, but, but you know, so you have to pick something. What's your interaction with the community with, like you come up with all these research projects, right? And obviously you're limited by your own time and resources, but there are other people in the world, mm -hmm. if they, if they knew, had this thought that you had, mm -hmm. that they could work on it and then like mm -hmm. you could form, like we're living in a time where like the digital internet, mm -hmm. then this digital community is such as right. could it's, be. The, exactly, information should flow much more easily. Right, right, right. And so then you can, so I mean, I do this at, at <clears throat> Zoom meetings or, or conferences or however I end up meeting people. But like at this meeting where I was just a couple of days ago, which was a protein meeting, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had discussions with people and at least 100 ideas of you could do this, could right, do that. Right. And I'm not going to do probably most of them, but you know, maybe somebody will do Someone else. I mean, certainly there were some discussions that I had with a person where they said, oh, hmm. I think I'm going to do that experiment. I'm like, okay, take it away. I, I'm, I certainly, I'm not planning on doing it, so <laughs> go for it. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> um, and I, I, actually, it's a puzzle to me to some extent how uh, sometimes scientists seem to get a little grubby with their ideas and hmm. secretive or whatever. And, and so... Um, and so I'm not grabbing your secret from ideas at all because if I'm telling you something, even if it's something I thought is really neat and I should research this, it's okay if you do it, I'll find something else by tomorrow mm -hmm. <laughs> that is just as interesting or more interesting. I'll just do that. Instead. So, I, that's why I'm, so I'm not too worried in, mm -hmm. in that sense. There's infinitely many interesting problems out there. You know, maybe I'm exaggerating, but you know, even if not infinite, very, 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 a very large. A large, finite number. Almost. A large, yeah. If it's a yeah. finite number, it's definitely a very, very large. Right. Yeah, yeah and, and most of the times when you tell someone the idea, most likely they're not going to work at it because they, they didn't arrive there. Like, they don't have enough context to actually work on it. Yeah, that's but right. But if anything, they would, you would get like inspiration from just talking to the yeah, people and yeah. getting feedback and just seeing different yeah. ways where it could go. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, even in, in other things that are, not, not even in places where not a science related. Yeah, it doesn't have to be science. It can be Every, anything that has to do with ideas and how you to be secretive yeah. about things. And yeah, yeah it, it's yeah. A, like being open just yeah. gives you another like dimension yeah. of like... Yeah, and, and again, you know, at my age, I've known lots of people and seen them through their lives and, and so forth. And this is, again, one of those things where there is, I'm sure there's a genetic component. I mean, there's mm -hmm. nurture and nature components to right, everything. Right. You know, going back to, you mentioned, you know, gene, that was a sort of discussion topic. And I think the safest bet is always to say it's kind of half and half, roughly, yes. plus or minus, right? And I, I mean, I've, I know a lot of people right, throughout my life, and I can definitely tell there are some people who are just more secretive with their stuff, like they want to, to keep it to themselves. And, and if you use it too, they remind you, like, that was my thing, right? Mm. And there's other people who are like, I don't care, whatever. You, that was, I told you that, I can't even remember, just whatever, <laughs> right? And so people just are different. Uh, our brains all function differently. Uh, and, and I've come to respect that, that, you know, that, that's how it is. That, um, so, so I think some people are going to have an easy time with this and other people would have a tough time with it. And you'll find people, I think, in all walks of life that are like more one way or more uh, the other way. And I certainly, I think there are scientists who do great work, but they are pretty secretive <laughs> about it. And I think there are scientists who do great work and, and you know, they don't care at all. They'll tell anyone. So um, but I think it can work out either way. You should make a blog or a website where you publish like weekly all these like new problems that you come up with. And you should... Yeah, <sighs> but the problem is if it's like 100 a day, then you know, I'm basically just spending all my time <laughs> writing the blog. I need to have time to actually think about, you know, 0.1% of these things or something like that. So uh, that's always the problem. Time, right? We have this. Time. Like, time is just very limited. Uh, and so you have to just pick something. And you were asking me before, do I have regrets? And I would say very few. And the reason is, again, I think I could have done something else. Uh, and it could have been actually just as interesting. Maybe it would have been even more important, right? And who knows right. how it would have come out. I couldn't have predicted it. But that's just how it is. And so in the end, you have to pick some problems or mm. do some stuff. And even though alternatives could have been very good as well, as long as you pick something that you think caters to your strengths and that you find interesting.